Hey everybody, today we are going to be centering things in native script. Let's start with this. Right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Alex. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. We do native script tips, tricks, and tutorials here. And if you want to learn more about native script, make sure to check out nativescripting.com where we can take you from beginner in native script all the way to pro level. We've got free courses in Angular. We got free course in native script core. And we also have full bundles that you can purchase with native script Angular, core, and Vue that'll take you all the way to mastering the framework. Links down below with the discount code. All right, so today we're gonna to be looking at how to center things in native script. And I'm gonna show you three ways to do it. And the reason I'm gonna show you multiple different layout approaches is because a lot of times you're dealing with an existing layout that you just want to use to center something inside of. And at the end, I'm gonna show you my favorite technique for centering something. If you have a brand new layout that you need to center, or if you have the ability to change the layout. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it right here. I've got a brand new application that's scaffolded out right here. It's a native script core application, but essentially this is gonna work exactly the same way on Angular and Vue as well and React. Native script core has the page element, but we're gonna wrap our contents, which is this label here, in a separate layout. So that way you can encapsulate that layout and have everything centered inside the layout. And this will work for Angular as well, which doesn't have the page element. So I've got my label here, hello world. And I've got my two simulators on Android and iOS. And the reason I have them both is because as you can see, they render the same exact thing a little bit differently. So I wanted to show you that the techniques we're gonna use are gonna work for both. So here's my label with a class LBL. We have a color red, font size 40, and it's bold. Now, what do we do to center this? I'm gonna put this into a stack layout. So the first technique is using a stack layout, which is a very common layout to use because all it does is just stack your elements one on top of another or side to side. So as you can see, after I put my label inside a stack layout, now we're not centered at all. We just have the label in the top left. In order to center the label horizontally inside of a layout, and that works for any layout, is you can apply a text align property to the label itself. So I'm gonna apply the text align property of center, and that's gonna center the label horizontally. This is a little bit different than web, even though the property is exactly the same, you're applying the text align center right to the element. All right, but what about vertical centering? What if we want this to be centered vertically? Well, in order to do that, we first need to know how much space vertically our layout is taken up. So let's do that and figure that out by applying a class to it, to the outer layout. So I'm gonna apply a class called outer to that stack layout. Let's define that class right here. And the way we can visualize it easily is by giving it a border color of, uh, let's say, green. And we need a border width. Let's give it 10. So pixels are just pixels, and you can see it's very tiny right now, but if you just leave it without any pixels or without any units, it's gonna be device independent pixels. So there you go, that's a little bit thicker because these are pretty large resolution devices. I just have them shrunk down pretty tiny on the screen here so they can both fit. All right, so now we see that the stack layout actually takes up the entire page vertically and that label is not vertically centered inside the stack layout. Now there is a property called vertical alignment. So let's add that, by the way, you can see me adding that as an attribute here to the label, and it's exactly the same thing as adding a vertical align property in CSS. I'll show you both. Okay, so vertical alignment, you can set middle like you do on the web, or you can use center. They mean the same thing. However, as you can see, I've saved this, but it's not working. Well, what's going on with that? That's really strange. If I apply vertical alignment to the outer stack layout, ah, now we have vertical centering, but it's only centering because it's centering the stack layout itself and it's collapsing that stack layout to the size of its contents, which is not what we want. 
And we don't want to do that because, well, right now it's being centered inside the page and we don't want to be relying on the page because not every framework version has a page. Usually you start off with an outer layout and we don't want to apply vertical alignment to the outer layout because it's going to collapse it. So what we want to do is apply vertical alignment to an inner layout. Let's say we have another stack layout here and I'm just going to copy this one, paste it here. And I'm going to move this vertical alignment to the inner layout. And you know what, let's give this a class of inner so we can visualize it as well. So I'm going to give this a class of inner. Let's go to our CSS and I'm going to copy outer, rename it to inner and let's make this one blue and I'll save everything. So check this out. Now we have an outer layout with a green border. We have an inner layout with a blue border and we have vertical line set to middle, but it's not centering everything. So what's going on here? Well, we can set inner layout height to 100% and now we have the ability to center it. So now that stack layout is gonna take up the full height of the parent and that label is gonna be centered inside. So vertical alignment is a little bit confusing here because you would think that it's gonna align the existing element that we're putting that attribute on. However, if I remove that, you'll see that our label bounces back up to the top. Overall, I'd say stack layout is a pretty confusing layout to work with if you wanna center things. Use it only for small batches of UI that you wanna to group together and you wanna to stack. Don't use it for large overarching layouts. A couple of layouts that are good for that are grid layout and flexbox layout. Let's take a look at grid layout next. And that's the second type of centering that I wanna show you. So I'm gonna wrap this whole thing in a grid layout and save. Now I'm gonna remove this stack layout in the middle and you'll see that immediately we have centering going on on iOS for that label, but on Android, not so much. So in order to get that working on Android as well, I'm gonna add vertical alignment middle to the label. Okay, now you've come to a place where this is a pretty good way that you can actually center things is by using a grid layout on the outside as your root layout, and then whatever you need to center in there, you would just add the vertical alignment attribute to that layout or UI element, or you can go ahead and add the vertical align rule in your CSS. So I'm gonna say middle here, save everything, and the result is the same. So that's grid layout. However, grid layout is typically used for laying things out in a grid. And you won't typically use it this way where it's just a free floating box. And uh, you would typically define rows here, and then you define columns. So here I have star and star, which is the equivalent of not having anything. However, if we have two rows, for example, then you'll immediately see that this label is no longer in the center of the grid layout because it's considered to be row zero. And right now we're dividing a grid layout into two equal parts. So this label is centered at the top part of that grid layout. A pretty useful thing to know if you wanna center it somewhere else in the grid. So still a very useful technique. However, let me show you my favorite technique for centering something. And this is the flexbox layout. So this is technique number three. So I'm gonna change this to flexbox layout and I'm gonna remove the rows and columns just to eliminate that confusion. Let's just uh, tear this down to bare bones, shall we? I'm gonna remove the vertical align and text align from that label and there we go. Okay, so flexbox layout by default, as you can see, our label is not horizontally centered but it is vertically centered on iOS, but not on Android. All right, so what can we do here? Well, Flexbox layout is meant to simulate how Flexbox works on the web. So you're gonna have properties like line items and justify content, which you can define in line here. So for example, let's go with align items as an attribute, and I'm gonna say center. As you can see now, we have 
vertically centered label in iOS and in Android. So here I'm gonna move align items to CSS just so that you can see what this looks like in CSS. We're working with our outer. I'm gonna say align items and I'm gonna say center here. And the effect is exactly the same because align dash items in CSS translates to the same result as the attribute on the element on the Flexbox layout. By the way, Flexbox layout by default gives you that display flex that you would have to specify on a div if you are on the web. So you don't need to specify display flex. You automatically get that with the layout. Now we need to center horizontally, which is the last bit. So Flexbox gives us this little thing called justify content. Let's define that. You know what? I'm doing it again in attributes. Let's go ahead back to our CSS and do it here. So justify content and center. You see how easy that was? That is why I love Flexbox layout. You can center that easily. So you can see that hello world is centered horizontally and vertically. Furthermore, if I add another layout here in the middle, let's say I add um, stack layout, close the tag down here. What happened? Nothing, we're still centered. Flexbox layout is taking care of the centering without any additional properties on the child elements. That's why I love this layout so much. All right, so that's how you center things in NativeScript. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get NativeScript tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.